All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I'm at Watts Bar Dam. I'm wanting some fresh skipjack. Uh, I'm gonna start out using some old skipjack and doing some catfishing while I'm here. The best time to fish these dams is when they're generating the most water. If they've been running three gates, four gates, and you get here and they drop it down to two gates, the bite dies. Well, they were just running a couple gates and uh, they turned that up to four gates. They're gonna run four gates till about 9 p.m. tonight, which will probably be about 8.30. I'm not gonna stay that long. I'm needing to get down the road and check on uh, getting another boat trailer. But either way, uh, we're gonna spend a little time here today, see if the catfish are gonna play and get some bait as well. Let's get this thing started up, head on up there. I'm wearing a rain jacket. It's been raining here for a week. And a uh, couple videos, I got soaked. One, I got so cold, I had to come back to the ramp after just a couple of fish. Just a slight chance the rest of the day, it just ended, but I ain't taking no chances. Uh, I ain't getting wet and cold no more, not like that. I'm gonna start out drifting the calmer sections uh, over here on the lock side. And then I may do some bumping here a little later. I've got plenty of bait before I have to catch bait, so we're gonna do some fishing first. I'll probably just suspend two baits and uh, keep an eye on my depth finder, stay in the deepest sections, and slowly drift around with this trolling motor. Not seeing any sign of no skipjacks yet. A cold front just passed through. The highs are only in the 60s now. Maybe these skipjack will start showing up here pretty quick. Hopefully so. This was a long way to go just to get some bait. I can catfish anywhere. I made a drift all around that lock side, man. Never got the first nibble, not even a peck. We've worked our way over here. This is the deepest hole in the lock side. It's kind of a small hole. It's 35 foot right now. Got a couple baits dropped down in there. These fish are not in the slack water at all. And if they are, they're sure not chewing. The next step is to work this current. We'll give this a little bit first. I haven't seen the first skipjack break one time, which is not a good sign. Okay, I'm starting to see the skipjack break now, way over there in the current. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah, we're hooked up. He's caught in this line here now. First fish, we wasn't in this hole no time. Maybe that's a good sign. I mean, we wasn't in it no time. He tangled up my other line, but we did get the first fish, skunks out of the boat. All right, y'all, let's head over to that break wall. The 
the old popper float. Look at here. Something has got a hold of that skipjack. And he escaped. Looks like striper teeth. Striper probably got a hold of him and spit him out. y'all we're going into the next phase this the catfish bite here is nothing and the skipjack bite is better out in the current so let's go ahead and do a little bumping for some catfish right now I can get these skipjack anytime before I leave I just wanted to try right here and try to kill two birds with one stone but we're only getting one which is a few skipjack up there in that heavy current. A little butterball. He's eating pretty good, putting on some weight. Didn't take too long to get him.
All right, y'all. There's another one. Just working our way down. I'm gonna catch me a couple skipjack real quick. These skipjack are up in the swiftest current, so I'm going to spend a little time up here.
catching bait and catfish at the same time. It's getting kind of warm with this coat on. Skipjack on. Skipjack on. There's a couple catfish boats out here. They've been watching my videos. I can tell you where they're sitting. They ain't gonna catch squat. I've got enough skipjack. I got a good mind to pull closer up towards these gates. See if I can get a catfish right up against them gates. I've got my main motor on in gear, assisting my trolling motor on spot lock. But I've got bait. It's a lot deeper up by this gate. See if we can't conjure up a, a little better sized catfish before we get out of here. Lay down there. I don't want to drop more than one because they'll get all tangled up. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah. Now we'll catch one on the orange rod again. This is a good way to use up my old bait. We're in 45 foot of water right here. This is the deepest water anywhere near this dam. This is where they're all hiding. That's why you can't get them over there. They all right here. I'd say we got a fish. 
Yeah, we got one. While I'm waiting on another one, I'm going to eat a piece of cheese. A man gets hungry reeling in all these fish. They just turned them gates on wide open, didn't fire a siren or anything, and I got out of dodge. That's okay. We caught a couple fish in there, and I got to eat me some cheese while I was up in there. That's fine with me. That gives me more current to bump up another fish. The more current, the better. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's all right with me. I'll eat one more piece of cheese, and we'll bump us up one. Get rid of this old bait. Let's bump us up another. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a solid fish. He feels solid. He might not be, just heavy current. I'm on it. Turn the motor off for a second.
gonna turn that one around. Look at this one. Look at that one. Fish on. He ain't a big one, but he's on. Done caught fresh bait, now we're using up the old bait. We can't let it go to waste, it's still got plenty of taste. Bumping them up. Woo! I got a storm trying to blow up on me. Put this here. 